Yep, go ahead. All right, thank you so much. Um, okay. Um, so hi everyone, I'm Dylan. Um, the, I'll be pitching on Alpha C15, a game that I'm trying to pitch. So just a brief overview of what I'll be doing today. I'll just talk a bit about a bit of myself or my past experiences with game development. And then I'll talk about, of course, the game itself or what exactly Alpha C15 is. And last but not least, I'll talk about the roles and details of what each role entails. So a bit about me, I'm a year two in computer engineering. I've done four small game jams in the past before, and they're all based off 2D platforming. And uh, I've learned a lot from them over the years. Uh, I've also done music production for quite a number of years in my teenage years, uh, primarily using FL Studios. So I do have background in both music, uh, art, and uh, of course, de uh, developing games in general. So now moving on to the juice. So what exactly is Alpha C15? So first and foremost, it is a Metroidvania. So any of you who have played games like Axiom Verge, Hollow Knight, Ori, you all know what I'm talking about. If you don't, Metroidvanias are essentially just like, think of it as like a 2D open world game with bosses and unlocks. They allow you to traverse the world around you. Now, my scope for Project Dev alone is just the introduction of the Metroidvania. So it will only be up to the first boss and if any of you have played Metroidvania games before, you all know that the beginning of every Metroidvania is pretty linear. So that will be the focus of the scope of Project Death, which is just a linear 2D platformer going through different areas of the game. Now, my focus will be on the story rather, on, rather than the mechanics, because the introduction of any 2D platformer is pretty simple. And because the goal of this is to create a 2D world that feels lived in. I personally uh, created a fair bit of games before, and hence I know a bit of know-how on how to create mechanics and whatnot. But one thing that I feel that I failed to do is not be able to create a game that, you know, emotionally attaches you. With. You know, I'm pretty sure that some of you have played your favorite games before, and within the first 15 minutes of playing the game, you like the characters, you like the world that we draw you That's what I hope to be able to achieve. And to be very honest with all of you, my long-term goal is to be able to create a team that is able to fully finish a fully fetched marketable game. But I also know that's not what all of you are here for. So I also just want to know, I also want to iterate that those just, that just want to help out during the duration of Project Death are more than welcome. And I'll be, I'll be happy to have as many hands on deck. Of course, so what is Aqua C15? Aqua C15 is held in the world of Aladdin, which is a world full of people of different elements. As you can see here, water, air, rock, grass, and fire. And these will be called elements uh, from here on out. So the, for the school of Project Death, we'll only, only be focusing on three areas, Aquadent, a grassy plain, and an ice mountain. Um, there are two variants of the grassy plain that I'll, play on, that I'll talk about more later. So first and foremost, the game mechanics as I said before will be very simple. It's just going to be basic platforming, a single upgrade, and maybe a single boss fight. That's about it. Uh, these are games from things that I've done before as well. These are just screenshots of things that I've done before. So before we head on to the roles, let's just go a brief overview of what I'm going to go through in the game. The beginning is about, you'll be playing as the main character, Nu, the Aqua Knight of the game. He's just another random guy living in the world, of, one of the worlds in Eladen. In the beginning, you'll be in this large green forest with all your four other friends, and it'll just be a very nice time for everyone until a storm happens, and it, until a storm happens, showing a lapse in time. The variant becomes more sinister, and then it shows that something has really happened to a once happy world. You head back to Aqua Den, uh, Noon's home, which shows a lot of hustle and bustle and a lot of grueling work. You also come to realize that Noon is actually just another farmer, just another cog in the machine of society, so my, uh, some might say. One day while working, you, you'll come across this uh, sneaky, suspicious M.I. who you follow all the way down to an ice mountain. This is where well, a fair bit of the mechanics kick in, where you have a mysterious area full of air mics, you encounter your boss and your upgrade, there'll be a twist ending, and that will end the scope for Project Death. So here are the roles that I'll be opening up. One of them is, of course, of course will be a programmer. We'll just focus on optimizing code and work on certain uh, mechanics such as inventory, UI, character dialogue. And, in, and for those interested, I can also show how I implemented upgrade logging and level traversal. And of course, uh, all the different types of uh, mechanics. Whereas for the artists, I have two types, environmental and character. Of course, the environmental artists will work on how the environment looks like. So there are things like how sets, and of course, the small things like um, how the grass moves or how the small 
how the small details of the world feels. Even the background of what you're seeing right now is actually a working background that I have right now. Next is of course the character. I know I'm running a bit over time, so you just give me another minute. Um, I understand. Um, so of course the character artist will work on the character animations of Nu and of course the four other characters mentioned earlier. There are also a lot of other the open I'm also creating a lot of allowing a lot of freedom in uh, creative direction for both these artists as I know that art isn't my strong point. Last but not least, not least is the sound or music person. Preferably, I'm hoping to be able to have someone that uh, does orchestral music, and I have a bit of experience with that as well, but I'm also open to other genres as well. So I expect a commitment for me is around seven hours a week, but of course, we understand that our semester isn't exactly linear. So uh, it's really this is really just man a malleable expected commitment. So thank you so much for listening to this pitch and for those that wish to reach out and work on this project with me or even just ask any questions on what I have in mind, uh, here's my Telegram handle and here's my Discord. Thank you so much for your time, everyone.